my brother's ill deeds forced my son from his home into the life of a wanderer. He offered his blade to whomever could provide enough coin for him to eke out a meager living. From feud to skirmish, from brawl to duel, he found himself in the service of Boniface de Montferrat. In the summer of 1199, this lord's soldiers laid siege to the castle of Byron, where an old friend dwelt. Baudouin de Flandre, commander of Boniface's army. Their collusion is a dangerous one, and my son has the misfortune of serving under his command. We've tarried beneath the walls of these cowards for thirty days. But no more! Today I want to see Martin Dalgais on his knees! I want his doors raised, his coffers looted, and his men slaughtered! Mercenaries! Time to earn your pay, dogs. On this night, you will either feast until dawn, or the crows and worms will feast on your rotting carcasses. It matters little to me. This is the final hour. Oh, my lord, all of our assaults have failed. It's the portcullis. It's, it's too strong, even for the ram. We have to set it ablaze first or damage it somehow. Aye, my lord. They rain arrows on us like a pissing cow. We can't get close enough! Enough of your whimpering. These mantlets will shield you from the arrows. Get close enough, then use the saltpeter bags to burn down the portcullis. The battering ram can finish the job, got it? Why do we even risk our arses to destroy a portcullis when we could just use the trebuchets to destroy the walls, huh? Because Boniface de Montferrat, the man funding your miserable lives, wants the castle unscathed. And I intend to offer it to him that way. Now go! You two, get on the first mantlet. You two there, on the second! Spaniard! You with the bail on the third! The bail? Such a pretty name for a mercenary. Can he even lift a sword? That he can. As for his name, perhaps he fashions himself a hero. But enough talk. Six men on the battering ram. You'll follow from behind the mantlets. Now go! Victory or Listen death! Listen close, Spaniard. We only push between arrow volleys. As soon as we see arrows, we stop and pray that nothing penetrates this maggot wood. Got it? Hey. Hero boy, I don't feel like dying any more than you do. Forward! That's a meal. What is that smell? Had you given in to fear, the bear? Well, the men were given orders to, uh, relieve themselves on the mantlets before we used them. <laughs> Curse it, Francesis. Could you really win wars with stupid orders like that? You'll be glad for it soon enough. The wet hides protect the wood from flaming arrows. You don't want to end up roasted like a heretic on a stake, do you? Take cover! Now's our chance. Let's go! <laughs> they think they can kill Esteban Noviembre. A mistake. They will soon be afraid. You talk too much, Spaniard. You should save your strength. Let's move, Spaniard. Relax, hombre. Stick with me. No harm will come to you. Oh, is that so? I didn't tell you. I was born under a lucky star. A lucky star? <laughs> I'll believe it when it comes down and wields my sword for me. Let's go, hombre! I've heard the Flanders are called you the bear. You and I, caballero? Just call me Dennis. Ha ha! You're un caballero! Tell me! What brings a hide to you, Otto? Dragging this piece covered plank of wood to the mud like any mercenary. Well, the thrill of adventure, of course. <laughs> You're no different, are you? Take cover! We're 
Almost there. Give up on me now, Spen. Just a second, Red. Maybe we can pick off some of these archers. Don't stay out there too long. You'll make an easy target. about standing on those ramparts we can throw the bags from here cover me i think we're clear throw them before any more of them come to see how lucky you really are.
going to do this alone, Esteban. At your service, then! Unless you're busy at the moment, can you help me out, Esteban? What is it, then? Esteban, can't take care of this by myself, you know. Be right there, hombre!
Seems you know how to wield a blade. Now, let's see if you can wield fire half as well. Uh, the, the, the yours! This nightmare! Uh, Not again! Uh, the Spaniard might be surprised. To me, your powers are commonplace. Then you are damned as well! Uh, 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 two bearers of the curse. It makes no difference. I will not allow you to claim what I've spent my life to protect. Am I still in a nightmare? Or did you really just save my life? It is a nightmare, but it's more real than you might think. Stand up and fight if you want to live. You got it, Caballero. I'll fight with you. I owed you my life, but you owe me an explanation. I will answer all of your questions later. For right now, let us drive this demon back together. This will be your grave. Imagined Boniface would send a bearer of the curse. You seem to have mastered its effects very well. Who are you, mercenary? I am no mercenary. In my veins flows the blood of the Templars, the blood of the De Bale family. De Bale, you say? Then you are the son of Jean de Bale. Huh? I understand now why your father. Had so much faith in you. What? You know of my father? You must tell me! Martin, it's been a long time. Boniface de Montferrat. When I heard that Barois was assaulting my castle, I knew at once that he worked in your shadow. You are relieved of your service, mercenaries. Barois, take them to the encampment and pay them generously. The battle is won. My lord, this man... I have spoken. Your job here is done. What? What do you mean? Leave us before the coffers are emptied and you miss out on your share. Let's go, Esteban. My old friend, dear old Martin. I know you've hidden the relics somewhere in this castle. But you would sooner die than put it into my hands, would you not? I will make sure that is exactly what happened. 
You fool. Do you think I'm stupid enough to have kept it here? I gave it to a man who deserved it. More than I. And I have seen the sun shine greater than even that night. Boniface, you imbecile! Sir. Ah, enough of your blasted riddles. Who is the sun you speak of? Tell me, Martin. Your hatred of the world will bring you to your dumb eyes. You'll talk, or you'll die. De Bale. Where is the young De Bale? You gave him notice, my lord. He took his gold and left with that Spanish friend of his. What? Damn. Did he say anything about where he was going? Be at ease, sire. Vince de Bale is going to the Chateau de Cree to take part in the jousting tournament. It seems he wants to enlist in the forthcoming crusade. The Chateau de Cree. So... The young de Bale seeks his father, who never returned from Jerusalem, and the crusade is his shot in the dark. He must know where to look. That is, 